On the 1st of January 2022, Mountain Program, Apostle Daniel Okafu was led by the Spirit of God to give prophecies concerning what is yet to happen. He gave this words of prophecy concerning the Western countries and about Africa. Let's listen to his words. You know, there are some natural disasters happening in the Western world. So we hear that, ah, why is all this happening in the Western world? We should pray for in Africa. We should pray for Africa. We should pray for Africa. Pray for Africa. So we should pray, we we'll pray. If God has it, thank God. If you don't, thank God. There's nothing you can do. Can you do anything? No. <laughs> it was reported on the 13th of April that there was a serious flood at South Africa, which led to the death of 250 people. This is to confirm the words of prophecy by Apostle Daniel Okafu. And more than 250 people have died in devastating flooding in the South African city of Durban and the surrounding area. Uh, days of record rainfall have also left uh, thousands of homes destroyed. Roads and bridges and other critical infrastructure have been damaged by floods and landslides, hampering rescue efforts. Uh, we'll go to Durban then and uh, join DW correspondent Adrian Kreish. Uh, welcome, Adrian. Um, uh, tell us more about the, the uh, situation there in the city and its surroundings. Well, it's bad, Phil, and uh, to me it's particularly sad how many children were affected. Where I'm standing right now, you can see behind me where the landslide is happening. This was the room of 10-year-old Ayanda that collapsed on her. She passed away. Um, her family just told me about it. They're obviously devastating. And just next to it, so the cameraman just shown it, is another place. Um, will say that these are some of the worst that they've ever witnessed. They've already retrieved the bodies of three people from a single family. And there's a desperate search for a fourth, a 10-year-old child. And to a place of safety. But her vehicle got swept away in this river. The flood surprised many, even those who had lived here for decades. We were staying awake because of the rising river. And then down about 2 o'clock, there were about 50 policemen that came up here. And, you know, and then the tow trucks came in. And from about 3 o'clock, they managed to drag the car out and with one body in there. And uh, that was very traumatic because first time we've seen the river rise so high. After a day of searching, exhausted volunteers moved to another location. Dozens have died in what authorities are calling the tragic toll of the force of submerged, roads completely washed away. Some communities are completely cut off. All our electricity stations, major ones, are also flooded. Our water treatment plants uh, that we are using to save these communities. Durban, one of the largest port cities in Africa, is the worst affected. Containers stored in the dockyards were washed away as far as the eye could see. The state transport company says it suspended shipping until further notice. We from the Jotun family are sending our condolences to the relatives of the affected ones. That it is God who gives and it takes. Like and follow us on Facebook at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Tweet us on Twitter at jotim1 at gmail.com. TikTok at jotim1 at gmail.com. Instagram at jotim underscore one.